McDermott clamp. Just gotta keep him at 12 minutes. You can, what are you doing with the watch on? I know. That's the mid-year checkup right now. Ooh, yeah, feeling the pulse? I am uh, a little elevated today. Interesting enough. Stats very close to last year. I think this is the difference between stats with expectation without. You came out of nowhere last year. Now it's like you were the MVP candidate. Why aren't you performing better? Which, not to say that Lamar Jackson isn't a comparable here, but Lamar's MVP season, he was never going to do that again. <laughs> However, Allen, we're like, it feels different though. Allen has different. more passing yards. Yeah. More passing touchdowns. Yep. Less rushing touchdowns, which, which wow. you want. Right. And two more picks. Not as many fumbles either. And, and those picks are in a small window. Five, like five of those were very bad. Yeah. This five last ones were pretty bad. I mean the one is arm. The one's tipped. Yeah, one guy. But he they looked bad. Yeah. But again, three games prior, they're looking good on the turnover in the turnover battle. Yes. We're looking yeah. good. We don't include the last three games. We're looking good. So are the Bills regretting that 260 million? We're not paying them yet. So, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm trying to think. Who was it that said, and I quote, he's not a $260 million quarterback. Yet. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. You, you, me, you, you, me, 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 you. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> that you said that. You said, listen. Okay, he signed a six-year, $258 million deal. That does not kick in for two years. Neither does his progression. That doesn't mean that you sign him to $260 million. He's exactly that right now. I don't understand why. Like, okay. This isn't bad. You can't just level him up. <laughs> I, but he's not performing under a, a lot of what he did last year when people were just losing their minds about him. Right. Like, he has 25 touchdown passing touchdowns as of this episode. 22 last year at this point. Right. Two a game for an MVP candidate. You know what I mean? He has 10 picks compared to eight last year. Right. He's throwing a lot more this year, though. Sure is. And, and we might see that. I think last game told you that running the football is not a bad thing. Like, you just need to no. run the football enough to yeah. make them think that you might run the football. Right? Like, Allen is really effective in play action. He, he was last year. He is this year. Yeah. But when you run the ball 12 times a game, play action doesn't mean anything. It just slows you down. At I th that point, it's just slowing you down. You know what? I think, from, coming from a quarterback perspective, I think it effectively helps Allen, Allen's timing. Okay. The timing of the routes and the timing of... It just slows things down. It just... It, the play action for him allows the, play, the, the the routes to develop. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. Plus, right? he's not staring down a receiver if he has to turn around exactly. like this. Right. I think that's a very fair point. You go, you turn around, you look, and the receivers are already breaking in a lot of the mm -hmm. routes. So you already know who's won and who's lost. So I think that's what helps. I mean, because we had a, we had a thing where we were going to do a half roll. The one the one place I was coaching at, like he's going to drop straight back and then half roll to the right just to kind of do like a little bit of the line shifting and, and protection schemes. And the coach was telling me, he said, listen, what should we do? Should we just <clears throat> alter the routes? Because he's doing the straight drop back five steps and then rolling in half right. behind the tackle. I said, coach, how much of a difference is it between that and play action? There's no, di the timing of it's no different. He said, well, that was a quick meeting. He sent everybody home. <laughs> I was like, that's just the way that it works. If he runs play action, he's not staring down a receiver. He's allowing the routes to develop. The safety can't key on where he's looking. Well, I think it works out well. And that's something that we haven't seen this year is last year and in, in the years previous, but even still last year, they were still moving Allen within play design, right? They were still moving him and shutting down. You know, that's effectively what you do is when you get a quarterback on the move, a lot of times you are shutting off half the field. Not with Alec, because his arm is so damn strong. Yeah. You know, he can make that throw across the field. But we haven't really seen them do that in play design, right? No. Where they're moving him as part of the, as part of the design of the play. 
And I think what that does is you're right. Detroit does slow things down, but the line has been so piss poor. Mm -hmm. Can you afford to? Can you afford to put about the? Do you know why they haven't done that? Speak to me. I'm gonna let it right now. Do you know why they haven't done a lot of rolling over? Talk to me. Who's in on throwing a two? Diggs, Sanders, and Beasley, right? Right, yeah. Those guys are high performance vehicles. If you roll Allen, you're effectively cutting off the amount of routes they can run. Okay. Because then you're only shutting off half the field. You're, that's that's a fair point. You're gonna limit what Diggs can do in space, that's what what Sanders can do in space. So that's why I, I think they haven't done that or have done it just sparingly because you limit the options when you start rolling a guy out that okay. much. Now, it's fine for Jackson to do it because yeah. he doesn't have the receiving core there. No. So. No. Okay, that's a fair point. So, as far as Allen running the football this season, far more selective, right? Way less design runs as in – you know, we're going to go, uh, you know, we're going to go, we're going to run Josh on this QB draw. Yeah. But the one thing I will say that bothers me that I see more and more is in short third and third and down distance, Josh is trusting himself and not the rest of his offense. And that everybody mm. in the league knows, and that bothers me a lot. If it's third and two, there is not – there. The whole left side of the defense might not even be there, and Josh is not going to hand that football. No, he's not. He's going to take it right. himself. Right, the league knows it. Everybody in the league knows it, and well, that he can really use that bothers for, me. We can use that for his advantage, but instincts kind of die hard sometimes with him. But why does he only trust himself? Because that has not been coached out of him yet from Wyoming. Think about it. He went to Wyoming. He only trusted himself. To kind of go back and look at his – um, progression, right? Yeah. From last year to this year, are you seeing some of the negatives from last year? Are are we good on those now? Are there new no. negatives from last year I, that you didn't see last year? I unfortunately, I'm going to get some hate for this, but I see some regression. I don't know. Okay, but but be specific there. What right? I see is because <clears throat> I'll give an example, and this is going to sound really dumb. And I'm prepared for it. This guy had four touchdown passes and five incompletions in a game just now. Okay. He was rolling at one point and then slid for a first down. Dawson Knox was wide. Oh freaking my god, that open. post that post route that he ran. So there me, wasn't a soul within ten yards of him. Yeah, exactly. Let, let me explain as well the play, you know, that it was. He dropped back, stared down digs, did two of these, and then ran to his left and found an opening. And then slid down for a first down when Dawson Knox was wide open. Obviously, maybe Dawson Knox was running the clearing route. So someone could come underneath. I don't know. It looked like um, Beasley was bracketed on that play, which is fine. But certain things like that, I don't know if the, the line, the troubles with the line are starting to make him take a step back. So he's going one read and out again. Yeah. Or he's starting to go back to certain things when – he doesn't see what he thought he was going to see. I don't know. Do we have to go back to the two years ago when he was getting the play before 15 seconds? But they want to get that out of him because sure Dable might not be here anymore. Well, I do look at it this way, Mark. You know, in the last game specifically, Yeah. there were a lot of times that Allen set the running game up in a bad way, right? Mm -hmm. Like he left the running game out to dry at times, which is why Singletary and, and Breida both averaged two point yard yards per carry. Allen hung them out to dry a couple times. Breida specifically on one play, he shoveled it to Breida when the linebacker, the defensive end, all went to the flat. They all went right to the flat, and Allen looked at it and said, "Not to, not today, <laughs> not today." Shoveled off the Breida, got tackled for like a four yard loss, right? So there's a lot of learning that Allen still has to do in order to protect the run game. Yes. He, they don't run often, so I don't expect him to be there, but he's got to learn quick. Yes. He's got to learn quick. So to me, while we could talk about the way he's seeing a play, I need him to be better at getting himself out of bad situations. And I just haven't seen that yet, right? I yeah. just haven't seen that I mean, yet. We, we it depends on his athletic ability to get out of bad situations when he has to be dependent on his teammates. He's not doing a great job. Right now. I would take 
10 times out of 10. Him being able to, like you said, check out of a bad play and to get into the perfect one. Right. Just do that. Okay. Right. I don't know. I, but I don't know what types of options they're giving him. That's true. And we won't know that. That's, That's behind true. the scenes stuff. Right. So um, as far as it goes, statistically, this is why we can't go on step. Statistics. Blah, blah, blah. Statistically, he's matching what he did last year. Right. Were the Bills 7-4 at this point? I don't even care. But I don't remember. If it was a seven and four, they were. Wait, what did they finish thirteen and three? Of course, they weren't seven and four. Jacksonville was a very bad game, but the line was horrendous there. Yeah. First game of the year that the line got beat up again. Common theme. Mm. The, the 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 Pittsburgh game that offensive line was atrocious. Let me ask a dangerous question. Here we go. Last year, you're right. Last year, the Bills were winning, and I'm sure the team, as far as how the offense was, how each individual player was being utilized. Team was winning, and they were, I'm sure, feeling like, hey, we're finally winning. This is a good feeling. Nobody saw us coming. You know, we're doing great. They probably felt great about themselves. Mm -hmm. To recapture that is really hard. To make every season a new season and be excited, excited about winning. As a coach, it's really hard. As a player, even hard. You got to play chess, not checkers. But... Is it possible that it's getting really noisy in that huddle? Ooh. I'm just asking, right? Because we're seeing because there's only one football to go around. Well, we saw we saw Allen double clutch to Diggs and miss a wide open Dawson Knox, right? I'm just saying, is it possible mm. that there's a little unsettling nature because the Bills aren't there the players can't feel as excited about winning as they did last season? Is it possible that they're, that that huddle could be getting a little noisy? Well, let me ask you this. I don't. I'm not saying whether I believe or don't believe that. It's I'm a, just asking the question. It's fun to speculate, though. It's fun to speculate. Is all Dawson it is Knox performing better than he did last year? Is he better than he was last year? Far less opportunities, far less errors. Yes. Is Emmanuel Sanders better than John Brown? Yes. Is the overall backfield speed now with Rita in the lineup better? Yes. Okay. Going on those things, you have the same linebacker. Allen's yeah. still making plays with his legs more often than not. He has to. Right. Diggs not having the same type of season. So Beasley all those, either. All those things considered, should Allen be have thirty touchdown passes now and have? So while compared to last year, he's not. It does, the stats don't look like he's regressing. Is he actually regressing because he has more weapons now? It's a good question. I don't like this. I'm saying, like, if you think Sanders question. is an upgrade from Brown, Dawson Knox is playing better. Spencer Brown is a better tackle over there. Look, he's been hurt and you know things going on. If you think this offense is better this year than last year, then yeah, Allen has regressed. Even though he's putting up the same numbers as an MVP year. Expectation versus perception, man. It is, man. Big it difference. Is. But, I mean, that's that's another dangerous thing to throw out there. Do you think he's regressed? Do you think his offense is better than it was last year? Then he has regressed. But we don't know it's if it's the chicken or the egg. Is yep. it Dable? And I'm going to tread lightly here. In the things that he's been experiencing this year in his life, could that be effective? The guy's not a robot. I mean, it no. could be affecting right. him. And his job, it would affect us in our job. Sure, I know sure that. Way. Sure. Way. So, I, I don't know if that's a reason for some type of drop off of what's going on with Allen, as well as able communication, the line play. I don't know. But you saying that it could be very, very noisy in that huddle now. It's like that kid that didn't get any attention. Dawson Knox is getting all the attention because he's leading the league and like he's tied with Hunter Henry for tight end touchdowns. Right. Uh, He's tied with Diggs for touchdowns. I know Diggs probably don't like that. Diggs, Diggs is has a been captain. nothing but a model citizen. No, I mean, Diggs, Diggs is a captain now. Yeah. You know, like you have to you have to earn though you have to wear those snaps yeah. differently. Yeah. It's 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 interesting though that we're talking about Allen. And this episode started with Allen. But there's so many things that affect him. Oh yeah. And we can't be remiss and not mention those things and just say, Oh, it's Josh Allen, he sucks. He's regressed. He's yeah. awful. He's a bust. Why are we paying him this much? All this other stuff. Right. Like, 
like to say. It, Josh is definitely the stir, you know, the spoon that stirs the drink. Yes. But there's a lot of there's a lot in that drink. <laughs> there's a lot yeah. of ingredients in that drink. Yeah. Yeah, he is. And I will revert back to one thing that you said that I think is the truest statement ever said by a Bills content creator, fan, anything. Nobody on this earth, nobody wants to be the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills more than him. Right. So if there's a problem, he will try to find the solution to this. Whether it's him doing it. Which has been the way. Which has been the way. Right. It, or it'll be, listen, but that's the thing. He wants all that pressure. He wants that on his shoulders, which you can't ask him anymore. Yeah, no. Right? 